There's no tractor or trailer or reliance on the sun or the rain. Instead, special lighting is helping this crop of basil and dill to grow. This is the UK's first fully automated vertical farm, where the vents built into the trays pump the right amount of air to regulate the temperature and humidity. We've taken a field, we've cut it into tray-sized pieces about six and a half square metres, uh, and as you can see behind me, we've stacked them up on top of each other. Then we've put them in a box, and we've made the weather inside the box. So we've made our own sunshine, we've made our own rain, we've made our own wind, we can heat, we can cool, we can deal with humidity. Under this system being developed in Scotland, crops can grow quickly using 97% less water than normally would be used. This method of farming isn't being seen as a replacement for more traditional methods of agriculture, but it could be useful in areas where it's difficult to grow crops and where the climate is extreme. And changing the way we produce food will be vital in the future. The UN is warning that by 2050, the global population will be more than 9 billion and will need to produce 70% more food to feed everyone. This technology allows us to grow food in areas of the world where it's very difficult because of the climate or in areas of the world where there's actually very little land available. So it changes the whole food system supply chain, for example, but also seriously reduces the amount of energy and inputs that we have to put into making food. Here they're aiming to be energy neutral. As the demands of our population increase, so too will our need for innovation. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera, in Invergarry in Scotland.